West Papua Human Rights Center and the leadership of the ULM WP are calling for justice to end the Indonesian and West Papuan conflict. To all supporters of West Papua around the world, recently the Indonesian government escalated its aggressive assault on indigenous rights because of the growing call from indigenous leaders for the independence of West Papua. To date, hundreds of thousands of West Papuans have died in this struggle for self-determination, leading many to believe that a systematic genocide, scholars dubbed a slow motion genocide, taking place right under their noses. The indigenous Melanesian people of West Papua want nothing but self-determination, the right to govern themselves as a nation, a country, and as a UN member, but that desire also comes with the price to pay. In response to this ongoing human rights violation in West Papua against indigenous people, the leadership of the ULMWP is organizing a peaceful protest throughout West Papua to be held on July 14th through the 15th, 2019. The organizers of this protest plan to use the occasion to bring attention to the violation of indigenous rights and to call for a UN intervention in West Papua and to support the ULMWP for the MSG full membership, Mr. Herman Wangai urges support for this peaceful protest. This protest is organized by the leadership of the United Liberation Movement of West Papua to bring attention to the ongoing crisis in West Papua. The ULMWP calls on the international community to urge the Indonesian government to, one, allow a United Nations fact-finding mission to enter West Papua to carry out a proper independent investigation and to monitor the human rights situation on the ground. Two, stop all human rights abuses throughout the territory of West Papua and to stop the systematic killing of indigenous West Papuans. Three, recognize the West Papuan Declaration of Independence by allowing the people of West Papua to vote for their own self-determination and their right to statehood. This is a right that was de denied a majority of West Papuans during the act of free choice in 1969. Four, release all peaceful political prisoners held throughout West Papua. We call on the Indonesian government to review its subversion laws and to ensure that these people are afforded the proper legal representation they deserve. Five, cease all hate hostility within the... Ndunga Regency and allowed thousands of displaced indigenous West Papuans who have been left without homes because of the ongoing Indo Indonesian military operations to return to the, their homeland. We condemn all violations against civilian people, especially women and children. Six, allow an independent investigation to, uh, in the use of banned chemical weapons alleged, allegedly used on indigenous villages in the Ndunga and surrounding areas. If Indonesia is a true democracy, then respect the right of West Papuans to march peacefully and to speak freely in public places. Let the people vote. Thus, it is important for the UN to also recognize that some people out there cannot get a proper education because of their circumstances. These are the people the UN should be put all their effort into supporting. People in West Papua have been waiting for decades for their own dreams for a better life, better education, but they must uh, first be free from, colon from colonial oppression. There is an ongoing human rights violation against the indigenous Melanesian people, which started when West Papua was taken over by the Indonesian military some 56 years ago. That violation continues to this very day. 